In my opinion, gouache is the most forgiving paint medium you can start with, but it also has some common pitfalls. I'm Madame Barry, and today I'm going to walk you through the most common mistakes made when painting with gouache and how to avoid them. The first pitfall is using gouache that's too thick. Gouache is a water-based medium and you need to water it down a little bit. It's too thick straight out of the tube. The consistency should resemble melted ice cream. If you paint with gouache that's too thick, it'll be kind of clumpy and really bad for painting fine details, your brush won't glide as smoothly, and if it's really thick, it might even crack on the paper after it dries. Think of gouache kind of like butter. If you use gouache straight out of the tube, it's a little bit like using butter right out of the refrigerator. It just doesn't spread well. But watering down your gouache just a tad is akin to using room temperature butter. It's smooth. <laughs> Make sure you're using clean water. When your water is dirty, that's actually a bunch of paint particles suspended in the water. So when you try to mix a new color, you're also mixing in that gross mixture of all of the paints that you've used so far. This becomes especially visible when you're trying to mix a light color, and then it ends up going weird and gray. Try not to mix too many individual colors into one color mixture. Gouache, especially some of the pastel colors, are often made with multi-pigment mixtures, which means they use different colors in one tube of paint. So if you start mixing, like three or four tubes of paint together, you end up using like six different colors in your paint mixture and you don't even know what half of them are. Sometimes this results in the paint mixture becoming gray or brown and you want to avoid that muddiness by selecting just a few colors to mix together. Now I mentioned that you need to water down your gouache, but you don't want to use too much. Making a really thin mixture and then using it as a base underlayer is fine. I actually start all of my paintings that way. But using gouache that's too runny for the main portion of your painting will result in a painting that looks streaky. Many people like to call gouache opaque watercolor, but unlike watercolor, which can be applied over time in many thin layers, gouache doesn't work as well layering. So you wanna use a thicker, more creamy paint rather than thin layers. Like I mentioned before, it should resemble melted ice cream. Am I making you hungry yet? Let layers dry. Paper that has wet gouache on it does not like to be messed with. The paint, if you touch it, will come back up onto your brush and then you'll be left with a patch on the painting. Some people avoid layering entirely by assigning each color to a specific spot on the painting and using kind of like a paint by numbers system. That way they mix the exact color they want and they put it down in the exact spot they want and they don't have to touch wet paint ever. But personally, I do like to layer. If you are going to layer, you have to be patient and let each layer dry so that you're not picking paint back up off of the paper each time. This problem can also be avoided by using acrylic gouache. I talk more about the differences between regular gouache and acrylic gouache in my Tools You Need to Start a Gouache Painting video. I'll link it... I'll link it up in the eye. Be gentle with it. Don't scrub at your painting because that will A, damage the paper, and B, leave you with patchiness in your paint. The way I like to work, especially if I'm trying to blend an area from one color into another, is by patting in almost small circles. That way I'm never dragging too much paint away from a wet area into a dry one or off of the paper entirely. If I have a patch of wet paint and I need to blend it out, I'll actually sometimes blend inwards towards the wet patch, that way I'm not pulling the paint that's wet off and away from that patch. Wet gouache is more susceptible to being picked up and removed than dry gouache is, so it's a little bit safer to blend from a dry area into a wet area. Make sure you have enough paint on the brush. If you have a clean brush and you put it in an area of wet paint on the paper, sometimes that paint can actually just suck right back up into the brush and then you're left with a patch on your paper. Load your brush up with pigment so that you're putting paint down instead of sucking it back up into the brush. The paint wants to go from where there's lots of paint to where there's not lots of paint. So if there's lots of paint on the paper and not lots of paint in your brush, it'll go the opposite direction of the way that you want it to. You want it to go from lots of paint in the brush to not a lot of paint on the paper. This is also one of the ways that I layer effectively. 
I load my brush up with a lot of pigment and then I gently press it or wipe it very gently on a dry area of the painting and then I leave it the heck alone. That being said, you can always break some of these rules. For instance, if you get outside the lines with your gouache or if you get it somewhere where you don't want it to be, you can use that technique of picking the paint back up into the brush to clean up the gouache that's not supposed to be where it is. Rinse all of the paint that's on your brush off, make sure it's slightly damp, and then start wiping that paint that's not supposed to be there away. If you like this or any of my paintings and want to put them on all the things, you can find stickers and prints in my store at madamberry.com shop. Let me know down below which kind of paint you think is most forgiving for beginners. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like for me so that I know to make more like it. And if you're new here, hit subscribe so you don't miss another video. Gouache is a super forgiving medium. If you go outside the lines, you can clean that up. If you made an area a bit too dark, you can use a bit of white paint and lighten it back up. And if you don't like something that you painted, you can just paint right over it. In fact, in this video right here, I painted over the eyes three different times. Three. Thank you.